I'm Hank, and I'm obsessed with Notion and using it to organize and catalog my whole life. And a lot of my life has been being an adventure filmmaker and TV producer. Heading off to Camp 1 on Eco Challenge Fiji. I've traveled to like 60 countries on over around a thousand flights. Singapore, Moscow, Hong Kong, France, Cairo, Egypt, Seattle, Spain, Montana, Alaska, Cancun, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Mount Everest is behind us, British Columbia, <laughs> Jungles of Panama, Templar Castle, Dominican Republic, Mount Washington, Glacier Bay National Park, Chichen Itza, Big Island of Hawaii, and Skinwalker Ranch, the Grand Canyon, the Arctic Ocean. And here's the thing, I plan and remember all of my trips using a super nerdy set of Notion databases that I put together, and I've been dying to show them to someone. So I'm making this video to show you how you can do all your travel and cool adventure planning in Notion and then have a great way to remember the trips later. So now I'm gonna walk you through my entire trips dashboard in Notion. So here it is, and you can see that there's a picture of me uh, hiking across New Zealand at the top here. I made it to the top of the ridge above Slady Hut. There's a 360 degree view in all directions. And probably the masterpiece of this dashboard is this cool interactive map that I created here, which lets you filter. So like if I don't wanna see my backpacking trips, I can uncheck that. Or if I wanna see all the flights I've ever taken on the map, I can check that and there, there's all my flights. Um, but also what's cool about it is you can zoom in and let's say we wanna take a look at Spain. Here are the trips I've taken in Spain. Um, let's take a look at this one. This is my trip on the Camino de Santiago. There is the ocean in front of us. We walked across all of Spain and we made it to the sea. And if I click on the title of the trip, I can see the trip entry in the trips database, which is here. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, but also it's linked to my blog. So all this data shows up on my blog. And if I want to say, see the film I made about this trip, I can click on this film icon here and it will bring up my blog um, and show here's the film for the trip and everything I've written about the trip and all my blog posts and maps and information about the trip. And if we pan around the map a bit more and zoom into Utah, we can see all these pack crafting trips I've done in Utah, which are these blue pins here. Um, so you can see this is the Bears Ears trip I did with my friend Jake. Here we are flying down the San Juan River in our pack rafts in Bears Ears uh, National Monument. Uh, it's a really cool place. The canyon walls are huge. The weather is perfect today, sunny and warm. This is the Canyonlands 8 trip that I did with my brother and my friend. Ryan's paddle got away from him. So I'm going to try to save it. Luckily, Realized it. I would have tied the boats together, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> this looks way cooler. This looks so much cooler. <laughs> Especially how you're being dragged like orthogonally to him, you know? Perfect. The boat loves that. Well, that's straighter. Thank you. This is the Escalante river trip that I took uh, with my wife a few years ago. And we turned the corner and there's this massive log and I managed to like lay back and go under it, which you're not supposed to do. Parker, how did you do this? And then I managed to flip my boat and fell into the water and my hiking boots flew into the water and for the whole rest of the trip, I'd only have one hiking boot. And if we tap on this map icon, again, it will bring up the trip on my website and you can see photos, you can see the map of the trip and you can see all the data from the trip, like the number of miles that we paddled and the gain and loss during our hiking. And then my ratings for the trip. So what was the physical challenge, um, the psychological challenge, how pretty it was and how unique it was. And all this data is populated from uh, the, uh, the page in Notion. So then on the left side here are a bunch of navigation links I have uh, to pages that make it easier to look through the catalog or do trip planning and also look at the databases that comprise uh, the stuff that makes up this dashboard. And we'll get back to all that in a minute. But scrolling down, on the left side here on this column, I have all my upcoming trips. And then on the right side here is the big database that shows all the trips I've ever done. And so I have a name for the trip and the kind of trip it was and who went on the trip and where the trip was to. And of course I put a photo from the trip um, into the gallery. So for example, you can see here that uh, the Wizard of Oz pinball road trip that I did last year. Here I am in Southeast Washington in Jeff's. Um, amazing pinball room. He has an incredible taste. Um, every machine basically that I would want. And he has Wizard of Oz, which I am now taking back to Venice and Parker. I know that you said we couldn't get another pinball machine until we get married, so this is step one. 
So Notion is also really good for journaling. If we look up the Camino de Santiago trip that I mentioned earlier, um, you can see in my Camino de Santiago trip that I kept a journal uh, every day of the trip, uh, a separate page for each day, and I wrote down themes of the trip. And this is really useful if you're gonna end up writing a blog later or creating a video about the trip, you can remember all your thoughts. And then I've created some tabs here so that I can also look at the upcoming trips, which is also on the left side. I can look at my a bunch of ideas I have for trips in the future that I, um, I still need to plan or work out. And then all the countries I've been to, all the states I've been to, all the cities I've been to, all the national parks I've been to, et cetera, et cetera. So I have a great catalog of everywhere I've been and it's great for me to remember stuff that I've forgotten or just reminisce about trips. Or when people ask me for advice, I usually go to my notion and find the good stuff that I've been to to tell them all about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the navigation links in the upper left. The first one is a link to the big database of all the trips I've ever done. And that page starts with a big interactive map again, so I can zoom in and find trips that I'm looking for and see the trips by type um, and uh, filter uh, different types of trips. And then below that is the big gallery of all the trips I've taken. And so I also have a bunch of other views that I've created. So if I wanna see only multi-day trips or only urban trips or only outdoors trips, et cetera, I can do all of that in here um, and find a trip I'm looking for. Okay, so let's take a look at one of the trips in the database. Um, we'll check out the Wrangell's St. Elias National Park trip here that I took with my brother and one of my best friends. So we've uh, started our climb and uh, we immediately hit these it's kind of an s-shaped trail that's just snaking up this uh scree slope looks pretty sketchy this but... makes the john muir trail look like it's a four-lane freeway here's the page for the trip which is the page that i used for planning the trip even before i took the trip so let's make that bigger you can see on the top that i've shared this page that's because i shared it with my brother and my friend so that we could all plan the trip together and so i have a whole slew of fields here um, to remember all the data for the trip but basically i put the date in um, i have this little field that i called booked which lets you tag um, various things. So I've tagged that I booked the flights and the car, and this little bed is the hotel or accommodations that I booked for the trip. Um, you can. I also have a little kayak here to indicate that I've booked the activities for the trip, if that's something I need to do. And then I mark what kind of trip uh, the trip is. So this was a backpacking trip and the country and state um, and place that the trip is taking uh, place in. And then the priority for the trip was something I wanted to do this year. Um, I have it linked to my life goals database. So here you see that I have a goal to try to go on a backpacking trip at least four times a year. And so this is one of the uh, milestones that's fulfilling that life goal. Um, and then um, I have the, I. And then I put the people that are going on the trip here and I tag the various features that we might encounter on the trip, like a lake, a glacier, alpine uh, mountains, etc. And then the hotels that we need and that we're staying at that I made reservations for the trip, all the flights we're taking for the trip. So these are all the commercial flights. And this thing here is a, is actually a backcountry uh, flight that did, it wasn't out of a real airport. So that's why there's coordinates there. Um, and then all the places that we visited on the trip, um, which includes things like restaurants uh, and uh, venues and things like that. So we ate at the Potato in McCarthy, which is delicious. Uh, and then how long the trip is and the uh, appropriate season for the trip. The rest is after the trip, so I'll get to that uh, a little bit later. So then I have a template that I use to plan each trip, and that um, has a bunch of sections. So first it's the itinerary for the trip, and then all the maps and info that I found on the internet for the trip I embed in here. So here's a map of the trip. Here's what the elevation for the trip looks like. I put links to the GPS tracks that I found for this trip so that that, um, my friends who are this is shared with can import them into their phone before we go on the trip. Um, I have a social media section uh, which I use to put videos of other people going on the trip so people can see what the trip looks like. Um, I have a weather and climate section. This is um, shows the climate for Wrangell St. Elias National Park throughout the year so we can get an idea of like oh if we go in August this is what the rain and temperature will be like. 
And then I have a trip expenses section. And what's great about this section is, yeah, I keep track of how much it costs uh, for us and who owes what uh, for the trip, but it also serves as a way to keep track of everything we need to do for the trip and book. So for example, for this trip, we had to book an SUV to drive to the park. And so here's the cost of it, but then I also have a page that's all about the SUV rental with the receipt and uh, how I made the reservation, et cetera. And so all the reservations and important information about the trip appears in these pages for all these expenses. And for example, I'll put the receipts for the, all the food we bought. So you can see like our Trader Joe's receipt for this trip, which was crazy. Um, and, uh, all gear that we needed to buy as well and permits for the trip. And so I link to all that data here so that if uh, someone else has uh, questions about uh, were things reserved or how are they reserved and how much they cost, they can look at them right here. Then I usually have a filming section, um, which links to information about how I plan to film that trip because I usually film all my adventure trips. Obviously not everyone does this, but um, for information about like how we're gonna mount cameras on kayaks and stuff, I'll put that in here. So then near the bottom here, I'll usually put everyone's flight info so that everyone knows when everyone else is getting in, even though it's on the itinerary, just so that we can confirm it. And then at the bottom here, I'll have a link to a journal where I keep notes about the trip when the trip is going on, and then uh, a pack packing list, um, which I have a format um, for a database for packing for outdoor adventure trips, which says where I packing the thing in my bag and what the thing is and how much it weighs, et cetera, et cetera. And if there's to do's I need to do, like buy some certain things for the trip, then I'll put it, um, I'll mark it as a to do or a buy item. So this helps me make sure that I'm bringing everything I need for this outdoor trip, which is of course really important when you're going into the back country. Uh, and then at the bottom, I have an archive of stuff that I have uh, of previous versions if we if we changed our plans etc so that's really what I use to plan an outdoor adventure trip and it's great because notion allows you to collaborate with other people and so I can start filling this out and then present it to my friends and they can add stuff or write comments about things they don't like or they think we need to do better um, and then by the time we're ready to go we have this huge artifact that allows us to know everything about the trip everyone's on the same page and um, everyone knows exactly what to do and then when the trip is over, um, there's all these fields at the top, which I feel out, fill out like the miles that we traveled and the uh, gain, elevation gain and loss and the minimum maximum elevation. And then I rank the trip by beauty on a scale of one to 10, physical challenge, psychological challenge, and the uniqueness of the trip. And all this data uh, shows up in my blog uh, so that when people read about the trip, they can see what I thought of it. Okay, so let's take a look at my trip planning page here. This is simply a list of all the trips in my database that I haven't taken yet. So the first uh, view here is to the upcoming trips, um, which is just easy to glance to see what's uh, about to happen. And I have this little formula here that shows how many days away each trip is, which is, which is fun. Um, and then I have this view that shows all the ideas for trips that I've had. So what I do is when I find something on the internet that looks like a really cool trip I'd like to take, I load it uh, into Notion and save it into the database um, of my trips, but with a status um, of to do. And then um, I have all of those trip ideas in here and when I decide that I wanna do one of these trips, I start researching it and I can eventually put it into planning and then it will show up in my upcoming trips and I can schedule the date for it, etc. For the Skyline to the Sea trip, which is something I've been planning on doing at some point, um, I can just use my template and tap on Outdoor Adventure here and it will populate it with all the sections that I normally use for trips and start planning out the trip that way. So going back to my trip dashboard, let's take a look at the next link which is the huge places database that I created. So this is a database that keeps track of every place I've ever been in the whole world. And that means all kinds of places, as you can see here. So uh, for example, I have a view that shows all the hotels I've ever stayed in and all the restaurants I've ever eaten at and all the venues I've seen concerts and theater productions at um, and all the countries that I've been to. Um, and it shows all the trips I've taken to any given country. So the reason I went to that country. Um, and I can also see all the US states I've been to and all the cities uh, I've been to in the world. 
And I also like to keep track of all the national parks that I've been to um, because I love going to national parks. And this shows where those national parks are and the trips that made me go to the national park. So the great thing about this having a single places database like this is that um, they're linked to all my trips so that anytime I want to see, oh, well, why did I go to Snow City Cafe or when did I go? Well, I can see I went. Um, when I, I've been to that cafe with all these people, which is in Anchorage in Alaska, uh, and we went to that cafe when we went on the Wrangles uh, St. Elias Traverse trip, uh, which I was talking about before. And so this is a really good way to kind of explore the world of places that I've been to I really like. I also have a huge database of all the flights I've ever taken. And so when you click on that page, first it shows uh, my interactive map filtered um, to only show the flights I've taken. And so if you tap on one of these uh, destinations, you can see, oh, this is um, Washington and it shows all the places I've flown to Washington from and all the places I've flown to from Washington, which is really fun. And then here you can see the database of all the flights I've ever taken and you can see why I went on that flight and who I went on that flight with. Um, and whether I was upgraded to business class or first class and how much that flight costs, et cetera, and which airline it was. Um, so this is a really useful way for me to keep track of my airline miles. And yeah, I just really like having a big map of all the flights I've ever taken. I think it's really fun. Like, what is this crazy huge flight here? Let's take a look. Oh, it's a flight from uh, uh, Korea to Moscow that I took uh, when I was working as a producer on The Amazing Race. Uh, see, that's really fun in and of itself. So back on the trips dashboard, um, the last major database I have is, uh, is called Events. And this is where I keep track of all the events I've been to. So these aren't places, but they're things that happen. So things like concerts, uh, theater, uh, sporting events, other random things like film festivals. Like you can see that I went to a mountain film festival in Telluride this year, highly recommend it, super fun. I also have a few other odds and ends. Um, I created a view for mountain summits so that I can see the biggest relative gain I have for any uh, outdoor trip I took. So I can see that like the most climbing I've ever done was on the Everest base camp track and on the John Muir trail uh, treks, um, which is no surprise. Um, but I just like to see basically mountains I've climbed and how, how much climbing a given trip had. Um, and then I also have a link here for travel checklists. Um, I have for, um, for different types of trips, I have packing checklists and food checklists. So for example, um, for packing a, for an adventure trip, I have a format for that that's pre-populated with the stuff I own. Um, I also have a checklist that keeps track of food I'm taking on backcountry trips, how much it costs and how many calories you're getting, which is, again is super important when you're in the backcountry and you know you need to get a lot of nutrition. And then I have an urban travel packing list, which is for trips that aren't crazy wilderness trips, but normal trips where you have a suitcase, so everything I would pack for that if you're say going to Paris or something like that. And then back on the trip dashboard, I have two more links here on the bottom. One of them is trip research and this is for articles I find on the internet that have ideas for trips um, like sea kayaking trips or the best treks. So I'll save them in here and eventually turn those into trip ideas that go into my big trip database when I get around to it. And then the last link here is trip notes. And I, I save notes uh, during trips sometimes there, although I usually do most of my journaling in the trip itself. Well, now you've seen my notion and you understand how I survived over a thousand flights and walks across entire countries without losing my mind. If you have any questions or ideas about how to make this better, or you're just in the obscure niche of people who love both outdoor adventures and joining databases together, then drop a comment below and subscribe. Oh, and watch all my other videos that show all the trips that you saw in my Notion database.